Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for the security of your online transactions, but often gets about as much attention as a parking ticket, CRLs and OCSP. I'm talking about the digital certificates that keep your online life safe, secure, and private. But what happens when these certificates go rogue? That's where certificate revocation comes into play. Let's break it down. Certificates are like personal identification cards that are used for authentication. But who's checking these IDs to make sure they're legit? That's where CRLs come in. Consider them the bouncer's blacklist at a nightclub, diligently checked to make sure only verified certificates are able to authenticate into that club. Sometimes CRLs won't admit or need to kick a certificate out for causing trouble. Now, how do web browsers and other devices know who's on the blacklist? Well, each certificate contains a URL that is used to check the CRL. When you visit a site, your browser discreetly asks, hey, can I have a copy of that list? I need to see if this certificate is allowed in the club. Depending on what it finds in the CRL, your browser either creates a secure connection or warns you about a revoked certificate, which is a bit like saying, sorry, you're not on the list. But here's the catch. Maintaining CRLs can be an absolute nightmare. Enter OCSP, or Online Certificate Status Protocol, a streamlined solution for the modern dev. With OCSP, your browser directly asks the OCSP server appointed by the issuing authority, hey, is this certificate still valid? It's a bit like checking with the police to see if the ID is actually real. You might be wondering why all this matters. Well, certificates can be revoked for various reasons, from fraud to a certificate authority having a bad day. And if these revoked certificates aren't properly checked, it could lead to all sorts of problems, like data breaches, identity theft, or even malware infection. So in the end, it's crucial that we keep an eye on certificate revocation and make sure our online experiences remain secure. And that's it for today's deep dive into certificate revocation. Remember, when it comes to your online security, it's better to be safe than sorry.